Our next concept car is a Nissan from the Japanese design studios. Even the internal cabin shape is taken from an oriental fan. And the hard chiseled lines at the front aren't just aerodynamic, but they're modeled on a traditional kabuki mask. The interior is inspired by Japanese elements such as ink paintings, cherry blossoms and wave-like patterns. Ergonomically designed by computer, stress-free seats provide comfortable interior roominess. Nissan tells us the seats are based on the concept of neutral posture. Apparently the seats recline to disperse an occupant's body pressure so as to avoid putting any strain on the lower back. The so-called Serenity concept is a fusion of sporty saloon and MPV. But the main area of thinking here has gone into the way the driver interface is set up. Many different functions are rooted into four basic buttons on the steering wheel. One, two, three and four. It's called the 4HMI concept, where HMI stands for Human Machine Interface. Oh yeah, I heard about this, Howard. The 4HMI concept is like the holy grail for car designers. BMW started thinking about this and ended up with the iDrive system in the 5, 6 and 7 series cars, as well as the Rolls-Royce. What we're seeing here is Nissan's take on the ultimate human machine interface where everything is divided up into four and so with the digital speedo you get five little screens in front of you in what Nissan call the horizontal meter unit. Now Nissan say this system offers and I quote stress-free centralized control and the optimal and timely presentation of information to the driver. But in my opinion there's a heck of a lot of information here that would distract the driver. So the dudes in the back can enjoy flip-down screens and headrest stereo. Shouldn't they control this rather than the driver? Good point, Howard. True to its name, the Serenity tries to combat the rigors of daily life, including commuting, we assume, by offering soft and pleasant design elements to the interior. This it succeeds in. Digital speedos and centrally placed info pods have made their way into modern cars without too many public riots. So if Nissan managed to introduce even just a few of these wacky features in production cars in the next few years, they'll be rolling the march of technology a little further forward, and that's good in our books.